Sting. It's gonna sting so bad. Oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. <laughs> Hey, you guys, we don't need a man boy. We don't care about being popular. We just want it to sting so good. And it will, because Eric Sada has made the final of Melody Festival in 2015 with his song Sting. You guys, are you loving this as much as I am? Yeah! I'm <laughs> uh, I just, I want to get stung by him so bad. I want to get stung from his dick's point of view. I love the song. I love the whole vibe of it. I love the energy. I love the flying little bridge carrier thing. <laughs> I love the all white and someone I love. I just love it. <laughs> like, I have so many positive things to say <laughs> and not enough time to convey them. He's just, oh, he's such a dreamboat. I love that none of us can sit still. We're all like fidgety. <laughs> oh it's like he's gotten inside of our bodies. <laughs> Denise. Yeah, I know. It's just amazing, amazing, amazing. I love it. And he looks so good in that white suit. Mm. I mean, come on, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I really like the staging. I really like the song, even though the lyrics are, well, just stupid. But I don't care. I like the song. I like the lyrics. I like Eric. I like every th single thing about it. And especially the beginning with uh, the trumpets and... Um, when the, the, what's the name of it? The, the, the big curtain is falling down and he's behind it and it all looks amazing. I totally agree. I mean, I wrote this off when I heard the 30 second clip and I was hating on it, but I take it back because when you see the full three minutes, this is a show. It's a real performance. Mon Zelmer Love is relying on a digital screen, but Eric Sada is performing. This relies on him. If he is off, the performance will be off, but he is never off y'all because he always gives his all. I sound like an Eric Sada fangirl. This is crazy. Um, <laughs> he looks like he's dressed like a waiter, but you know what? He can serve me a steak any night. I would take that meat. Yes, I would. I mean, there's just something really intoxicating about this. Like, you hear it, it gets stuck in your head. I mean, I don't like the lyrics. Come on. The whole thing about, I knew you before you were a cool kid. It's a, that's a little awkward, yeah, but I don't right, care. Melody right. Festival <laughs> is not a poetry contest, is it? This is about a song, and this song gets stuck in my head. And I feel like every time you think the lyrics and you listen to me, like, oh god, that's 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 really that's really bad. Suddenly the saxophone appears and it's trying to show. It's like I I think the do 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 no no I I think the 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 do 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 like every time he just does that and you just forget about it. You're like woohoo! I want to dance. <laughs> I'm like I want to be a saxophone player. And this is like the good use of the saxophone. Like Mr. Saxo Beat was really good. This is really good. Because some songs get it wrong with the saxophone, like anything out of Moldova. But this is so <laughs> right. And it just, it stings so good, like we said. I knew you before you were a cool okay. kid. What? Do you guys prefer this to Popular and Man Boy? Oh, that's so tough. Like, Man Boy is such a guilty pleasure. Like, I think because Eric was so much younger, and therefore he sounds really innocent singing it. Like, I don't think he gets how kind of, like, suggestive the lyrics are, basically being, like, a toy boy for a cougar. Where he's like, Man Boy, Man Boy, I can be a Man Boy. And then Popular <laughs> had all the drama with this, like, the Smashing Glass Cabinet, I think, is the most powerful piece of ESC staging this century. Like, oh my god, like, that will stay with me. That's, like, better than Annie Lorick. That shit is, like... Apocalypse that will be there forever <laughs> and will never be touched again. But I do love Sting as well. It's on like it's definitely on a par, but I couldn't raise it above. Yeah, all three songs are amazing, but I think Popular is my favorite. Um, but that's uh, just because of the glass. I mean, it was incredible. Um, but I think all three songs are great and. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. In my, I like all three songs as well, but in my mind, Sting is the best because Eric has grown as a performer. He's more mature, and this song kind of represents the Eric of today. And I guess that's why I like it. Uh, in the past, I've not been a fan, but he's really won me over with this performance because when you watch it on stage, you can't help but smile. It, it's very warm and like not heartwarming, but makes you feel quite warm and sweet. Um, and so I'm throwing my love to the Sada family. What? What? Swag, swag, swag. <laughs> okay, so it's time to rate the song out of 10. Angus. I like, he's my homeboy. I love the song. There's so much swag. There's so much style. There's so much everything. I have to give it a 10. Like, there's no other score you could give this song, I think. Yeah, what a surprise. And 10! <laughs> now, y'all, I don't believe in perfection, so I am not giving this a 10 because I already gave my 10 to John Henrik, but I will give this a a eight because I think it's really solid and I would love to see it at Eurovision. Yeah.
And I think Sweden wants to win again. If I were them, I would be like, oh, no, we won three years ago. I want another country to win. I don't want to organize it again. But seeing all those amazing performances, and especially Eric and Mans, it's like, oh, we want to do it again. We really want to win. And so there might be a chance that we are going to Sweden next year. And I mean, as well, the thing is, Sweden's never won with a male solo vocalist. Like, they've never had that before. It's always been girls. So I feel like the boys are back. Now we've already, Eric's back. How back do you do? <laughs> we've already talked about Eric versus Mons in our Mons video, so we won't repeat that here. But let's compare Eric versus John Henrik, the other threat. Where do you put your allegiance? John Henrik is no threat. Be realistic, honey. He's performing fourth. He's going to bomb on the night of the final. People will see through the fact that he's relying on a backing vocal. Whereas Eric's incredible, and he's performing 10th. The slot he performed in and won in 2011. Like, there is symmetry in this. The stars are aligning in his favour. And it's going to be him and man's down to the wire in, like, a death match. And I'm so, so, so excited for it. Yeah, well, I do like John. He's great. The song is so lovely, mm. so sweet, and he's really lovely. So I do like it. It's my fifth favorite in the final, um, but there's no way he's better than Eric. He's great. He's amazing, but not better. So he may not be better, but I think he could still challenge, and this is why. Let me yeah. tell you this. Eric and Mons will be drawing from the same group of fans. And so that means John Henrik, who has something totally different. And you have to admit, this song is different from anything else in the contest. He could sneak in. There are all those kind of random voters. You know, the mothers, the fathers, the grandfather who's happening to watch. The, the Sammy people. People with connections to the Sammy people. All of these people can vote as well. And I think they may give us a run for our money. I think, mm. to be fair, like, we're talking about the Men of Melody Festival, and, like, I would not rely on Isa or Mariette from still being in with a shot. I mean, especially Mariette actually being, like, the only strong ballad left in the competition. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, like, Jessica Anderson's gonna bomb. We all know oh, she yeah, ain't yeah, yeah. winning this she's shit. Not. But Mariette has, like, that fierce dance going on. And Isa as well, like, she's a strong... And I can see little girls as much being like, oh my god, Eric's so dreamy. Isa's, like, doing it for the girls. She's like, yeah, I can take Eric on. I can take Manzo. Disney on. power. Good song. Absolutely. Well, that's what we think. What do you guys think? You can follow all of our Melody Festival and coverage here on Ruby Blogs and also on Twitter at Ruby Blogs. Angus and I will be in Stockholm from Wednesday the 11th until Sunday the 15th of March. We'll be uploading Instagram pics, tweeting, filming videos, throwing shade, all for you. So please do come back. See you later.